What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World and I just wanted to share with you some of the lovely messages and the, you know, all the love I get for some of the people that I play. You go ahead and read that and you can enjoy it, man. These dudes, man, I love you guys too, man. Bam all day, you're a bum, bro. But it's, it is what it is. This dude right here, uh, if you want to see the actual full video with the audio, I actually streamed this on YouTube, so it's part of one of the live streams. Um, I guess you could search my live streams and it was probably one of the last ones. Um, you know, we try to convert this guy to Swervation. You know what I'm saying, bro? The religion of Swerve. And um, I don't know, you know, sometimes dudes come out and they think it's sweet, man. But a lot of, you know what's funny about it? Regardless of how you feel about the Swerve, you got to understand, it's always a balance in Madden. And what I mean by that is no matter what year you played, no matter what was so bad, there was always something else that you could do to piss somebody off. You know what I'm talking about? It, it It's just the way that they balance it because... I play guys that just come out, have no user, and throw the ball in the air and hold whatever, triangle or Y, and the aggressive capture, right? And that's all cool. Everybody's cool with that. Like, yo, bro, yo, yo, sick catch, bro. But if they come out and run two man under like D Jones and have like double, triple, oh, oh, pick that, like everybody's manned up, right? And you can't, nobody's open because with the last patch, the C routes actually get locked up by man coverage. So when you think about it like that, what else do you want people to do? And that's what the thing about it is. That's why it's so funny to me that, you know, when Vol I hope Volterax makes the final tournament and he wins it. And the reason that I'm saying that is because people have to start to realize you can't be mad at individuals that take the time out to learn something that others just can't do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not like Volterax is doing something that is not within the game rules because the swerve they, they it was a whole big discussion about it matt markow a lot of guys were talking about it i actually was in communication with matt markow um with the gaming division with ea sports and made a video about it and pretty much for the top tier players they can stop it you know i've played guys that you know locked it up pretty much and i had to do other things to win the game oh pick that shit but what i'm saying is it, it's a very very unique situation because if you master it you know, to a certain level, you can't really stop. Yo, guess word, bro. Hashtag TSG in the comment section. You can't really stop it. You know what I'm saying? But yet still, Volterax loses. You see what I'm saying? I lose games. So if, if it's so bad, how do we still lose? That's the thing about it, bro, because the, the, EA Sports has created something where people think they can complain and then they'll just make the game a little bit more and more bum friendly. But this is the counteraction to it. Because all the bums that come out, like I said, D. Jones, I give him credit, bro. He he does a lot of things that, you know, annoys a lot of people with his, with his quad. He rushes two guys and whatever because the way Madden has changed, it, it's been he's been able to do that successfully. So, yeah, I'll rage about the fact that he's blitzing one, I mean, rushing one guy and the dude is getting instant pressure and stuff like that. I will. I'll argue about that. I'll say certain things about it. But I can't hate on the fact that he does that and it works. That's what my issue is. My whole sole purpose is to make people understand, look, this is what it is, bro. There's certain things within the game that we have to learn how to deal with. In Madden 16, I had to learn that if I didn't play man coverage on 4th and 96, I was going to get mossed. It was no way one-on-one -on -one I was going to be able to stop anything that anybody was doing. So what did I do? I reached out to Rex Dixon, the creative director. We spoke about certain things. I had him interviewed on, on my channel. All these other things happened. They implemented a, a more decisive swap button, stuff like that. But I wasn't mad at D Jones. I was just raging. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, oh, you, yo, you swerve, you swerve. Bro, do you guys realize that D Jones rushed one guy, all of Madden 16, with everybody double and triple covered, and he was getting insta sacks? Does anybody realize that? Does everybody just understand? Like, it, it's so stupid. If you're going to complain about stuff, you got to be... You got to be fair in what you complain about so that people could take you seriously. You can't complain about a thing where, like I said, I've had so many, so many receivers that said, yo, the swerve is realistic. Re receivers that played in the NFL, that actually play high school football, and that are actively playing college football now. They all have said, yo, the swerve is realistic. Why? Because they position themselves in certain ways to do it. Now, the only thing that's not realistic is the simple fact that the defense doesn't react. That's what the issue is. The defense doesn't react. So if the defense doesn't react, that's not my fault. That's something that EA Sports has to fix. So that's what you guys should be trying to figure out how you're going to get that stuff done. Not complain about the swerve because complaining about the swerve when the people that run the gaming division don't consider it something that should be a bannable offense doesn't make sense. You see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to make sure people understand that. It's not, it's not, it's, it's sort of like this. The user catching Madden 15, right? Where they were calling it face catching. Everybody hated that. 
but some of the top tier players were really, really good at it. Rose Bowl, uh, BU Tweezy, a lot of the top guys, they were really, really good at it. You can't ban it because it's user. It's a user, it's a user mechanic. It's the same exact thing. Look, bruh, I played BU Tweezy in Madden 15. The dude was mossing the hell out of me and I was all over him, but you still have better user control. It was just that he, you know, it was just user versus user and he would get me and I would get him or whatever like that. But the bottom line is it's pretty similar. And what I'm saying is every year of Madden, since Madden has been on PS, like what, like PS3, there's been user control that gave more benefits. And people don't take the time out to try to learn it. They rather complain and go to threads and do all the stuff. But regardless of how you make the pick there, regardless of how you make the game, there's always gonna be a version of user control. No matter what you do, it's always gonna be a version of user control. So regardless of how you wanna do it, that it is what it is. People have to try to understand. Look, this is this is how we have to do it. This is what we're doing. This is how you have to try to counteract it. You can't just complain about everything. And that's what people tend to do. Everybody just says, you know what? I can't stop the swerve, so we need to make sure that, yo, this happens. Take away user control. Make it so we press a button. And that's why possessive catch, um, rack catch, and aggressive catching, all those things were implemented. Because people were so mad about user control in 15 that they did that. And then they brought 16. And then shout out to Voltorax. In Madden 16, before I was even swerving, he was already doing it. And then I started to see. I played him a couple times. I'm like, yo, this guy's controlling the receiver and doing stuff anyway, even with the mechanic. So that's why I started doing it. Because I'm like, yo, hold up. You could really do that? I didn't even know you could do it. Because I thought that that was the purpose of implementing Madden 16 with those three, you know, catching traits. But then Voltorax swerved the hell out of me in 16. And I'm like, what? How does that make any sense? That doesn't, it, it shouldn't be in the game. You know what I'm saying? Because they said that they added these things in, but then again, it doesn't matter what they say they added. It's always gonna be some sort of user control. And it's up to people to start to step their game up and stop complaining and whining about it and getting swerved like this dude right here and figure it out. Like if you guys go back and, oh, pick that shit. If you, that's all user. You can't, you can't coach that. You can't coach that right there with my lineman picking them off. You can't coach that. But what you could do was earlier in the year, like EA Sports did, they made it impossible to pick that. But with the as they patch the game, some things get better, some things get worse. That right there, I wouldn't have been able to pick that, you know, last patch because he would have kept on dropping it. Now they pick it. Now that yo, bro, I'm picking the ball more. You see what I'm saying? So everybody gets a little bit more if you're a user if you don't use if you don't use her and you're just like oh bro i just want to run around and let the computer do my stuff yo eventually you're gonna lose a lot of games it, it is what it is yo pick me off right quick but i'm just trying to make sure that it's very clear to everybody that pick that yo this dude right here just doesn't care bro we just i don't well, he had he had seven interceptions at that point god damn bro another moss action yeah we got a 70 burger this dude but the, the ill thing about this guy is that I didn't think he was gonna quit the game because I was actually actively talking to him on the mic. But then he's gonna wait until the end and he's just like, yo, bro, look. He, he probably looked at the score right before the end like, yo, you know what, I can't live with myself. And he had to do what was right. But regardless of that situation, we have to understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I try to, come. oh, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. That's what it's about, bro. Because if you guys don't step your game up, everybody will, oh, oh pick that shit. Yo, run it for six, run it for six too, do his moms. You're gonna always get stepped over. And that's just the way it is, because I'm telling you right now, if these, if the same three catch traits, aggressive catch, possession catch, um, and rat catch are inside, if they're in that, then you're not going to be able to do anything about it. You're not going to be able to do anything about that. So you might as well start practicing and getting your game on it and trying to figure out how to do it. Because if you don't, you're just going to be a regular average Madden player. Because as much as they try to make it so that they take away user control, there's always going to be... Okay, yeah. That catch is okay, but I can't swerve. Those kind of catches are okay, but I can't swerve. It doesn't really matter, bro. All I'm going to tell you is this. You guys better start convert, convert into swerveology. Or if you don't, people are going to come out and swerve you. And it's going to be a wrapperoni with cheese. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. So all in all, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys subscribe to the channel. Join me on the live stream on YouTube right here to see Madden 17 played live. And hopefully I'll get that more soon because that's what I'm looking to do. But he's going to go ahead and just do it like this, bro. Three seconds left. He couldn't take it no more. 70 burger. We out. One love.